Hi Chelsea fans, the latest Chelsea news, transfer news, contracts and Fulham tomorrow in just a five minute video. Let's get cracking. So, first and foremost, Tammy Abraham, Chelsea willing to listen to offers of around 40 million for Tammy. Should we sell him? Yes or no? For me, Tammy will score goals no matter where he goes, who he plays for. It's not just about scoring goals these days in the Premier League. The modern striker needs to do much more, including making contributions away from goal. And that's where Tammy maybe needs to improve a lot more. I say maybe, I'm actually going to go ahead and say he, he does need to improve. He needs to hold the ball up better, he needs to use the ball better, he needs to win the ball in the air much more because of his height, but he needs to be much more of a presence. Uses his physique and his frame to make, be more of a presence and be more involved in the build-up of goals and the build-up of our play. That's probably what lets him down at the moment and that's what Thomas Tuchel sees for me. I'm hoping that we keep hold of Tammy Abraham, but I wouldn't be surprised if he goes. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me that he needs to do more off the ball and away from goal? And would you sell him? Let me know, comment section below. Second story I went to feature was Andreas Christensen and his contract. He's looking for a contract extension. He's now 25, his contract finishes next season. For me, I think he's been a revelation. Thiago Silva got injured at Tottenham when he overstretched and pulled a muscle and we all thought, oh my God, Kurt Zuma's going to come back in. Zuma's been playing really, really well up to the point with Frank. But Christensen got the nod. He come in, he's been a revelation. He's been outstanding. I think Thiago Silva's influence helps him and obviously experienced players around him. Christensen's been amazing. He's been so good. There's no errors. He's not making silly mistakes that he used to. He looks a lot more confident. He looks a lot more sure with the ball at his feet. And for me, you've got to give him a new contract. What do you think about Christiansen? Would you give him a new deal? Let me know, comment section below. The third story was Timo Werner getting some stick. And I have to say that Timo Werner's overall contribution, as I talked about earlier with Tammy Abraham, is outstanding. If you watch the Real Madrid game back again, what you saw from Timo Werner, yes, he missed a chance, come straight to him, had to react quickly as a defender closing him down and Courtois. He just got a connection and got it on target and it wasn't... If it wasn't for the big snake's feet to block the shot, it would have gone in. But apart from that, what Werner did, the three centre-backs, he worked all of them. He moved over to the left-hand side. Then he played in between the left-hand side, the defender and the centre-back. Then he moved to the other side. Then he played on the outside. He was constantly moving between the defenders to create space and to create, to create some panic and confusion as to who picks him up, which allowed our number 10s, Mason Mount and Podesic space to get in the holes. Werner's contribution is massive and his pace alone scares defenders. Timo Werner will score goals for Chelsea without question. Next season, let's give him till then, he'll be flying. But what he is doing, he's making important contributions and people need to understand that for me so I don't get the Timo Werner criticism. We've all seen reports of Romelu Lukaku being linked with a move to Chelsea. 90 million they're talking about. Lukaku to Chelsea, would you take him back? He's got... A point to prove, surely. He's a proven Premier League goal scorer. He's a proven proven goal scorer over in Italy. He's done it on international level. Would you take Romelu Lukaku back at Chelsea? For me, another one that doesn't do enough for his frame. Yes, he scores a lot of goals, but needs to do much more. Think of the impact Didier Drogba and Diego Costa had on Premier League defenders, the way they bossed and bullied them. I don't think he does enough of that. Is Lukaku the answer for Chelsea this summer? I'm not so sure. What do you think? Let me know, comment section below. So also we've heard today team news regarding Fulham tomorrow, the massive, massive game where we all expect a lot of changes to be made, but will there be? That's the question. Thomas Tuchel today was talking of being completely focused. Everybody's in, everyone's buying into this and driven and focused on delivering the results that we need between now and the end of the season. And he talked to the fact that because we put ourselves in such a good position, he doesn't want to see us let ourselves down by letting it slip. So we've heard Kovacic had a slight breakdown in training and is not available for the game tomorrow. Tony Rudiger picked up a knock against Real Madrid and is not fit for tomorrow's game. Should be okay for Wednesday for the second leg against Madrid. So there will be a defensive change with Kurt Zuma coming in, you have to imagine. Or you might see Cesar Azpilicueta move back to centre-back with Reese James come in and play right wing back. How many more changes will there be? Will we see the likes of Hakim Ziyech, Callum hudson Doy, Kai Havertz start the game? Maybe Tammy, maybe Giroud? I guess we have to wait and see. We know that Georgina and Ngolo Conte are going to have to play in the middle of midfield. 
or will Mason Mount drop deep? I guess we have to wait and see, but one thing's clear. This is a game we must win without question, and I fully expect Chelsea to do so. No disrespect to Fulham. Chelsea have got the options in the team and from the bench to get that game won. And the way we're playing, we have to expect nothing else but three points. So Chelsea fans, that's it. A five minute news video. Smash that subscribe button for me and the bell for notifications so you're notified when my videos come out. And by doing so, if you smash it now, you'll be notified tomorrow when my live commentary starts. 5.15 tomorrow, Chelsea versus Fulham. Proper ball by ball commentary. Have a great Friday night and a good day tomorrow and I'll see you back here at quarter past five for the football. Enjoy your evening. Thank you for watching and let me know what you think about anything discussed in the video in the comments section below. See you tomorrow.